Hello and welcome to Grass or Global Renoscope. My name is John Tisavari. And um, you know, when I was a kid and I saw astro images, pictures like this, actually they were black and white and they were, you know, not quite as detailed, my imagination would go crazy. And I, I really never lost that. I'm an astro imager, I have my own setup, but recently I found the Global Renoscope system where I have access to, for instance, this Richie Chrétien. Uh, 12 and a half inch scope which I could personally never afford but always wanted to image through and a, any number of other wonderful scopes different focal lengths formats it's an ideal situation for someone like me um, but more than that it most of the hard work's done for me I don't have to drive anywhere I don't have to set up all my gear or break it down at four in the morning after a long night of imaging and once you've installed grass info center open it up you're presented with uh, this first page here. This is a map of the world, and you can see nighttime is represented in a darker shade, and daytime. Now we've got three stars. These are representing the observatory locations. You'll notice that you can image 24 hours a day. Um, but the first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to image in New Mexico, so we're going to want to check the weather. A quick look here, I see stars, that's a good sign. Now let's, but since we're ready to image, let's uh, go ahead and click on System 14. Let's uh, log into Grass 14. That brings us to the uh, web page for controlling this observatory, for taking the images. So I'm going to click on Regular Mode. This is seconds, it will log in and load up. And here we are in the G14 page. First thing we want to do is pick our target. I'm going to click on single image and here we have a chance to enter our target name and I'm going to choose Andromeda Galaxy. This is a, a great target for this particular system. Now this shows us that we were successful. Acquire image. This is our sign of success. System. See that something's happening. This is blinking slew, and my coordinates are changing. That means a telescope is moving to point to the target. We'll see this orange bar progressing. This is the length of exposure here is 300 seconds. Almost there, just a few more seconds. And momentarily, the uh, imaging portion will be done, and it's now downloading the image from the camera to the local observatory computer. Oh, there's our image. Look at that. That looks beautiful. And here we go. The observing run is completed. Well, I think that looks really good. It's worthy of emailing to at least uh, a couple of people to take a look at. And I could also take exposures through red, green, and blue filters, and I would end up with a full color image like this one. All the scopes allow me to do that in one form or another. I want to thank you and I want to welcome you to come try out grass. It's been a great experience for me and I know you'll love it too.